super crispy, healthy and flavorful buffalo cauliflower. So these are air fried in the instant pot and will make a perfect appetizer. Hey everyone, this is Taz and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's doing great. Anyone looking for a delicious crispy vegetarian appetizer or snack? If so, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the best tasting buffalo cauliflower in the instant pot. We are going to air fry the cauliflower so it's going to be a healthy recipe. First, I'll be making a batter and dip the cauliflower florets in it and then air fry in the instant pot for a few minutes and towards the end, I'll brush with hot sauce and butter. So the cauliflower will have a nice golden crust. It will be crispy and delicious. Even the hardcore non-vegetarians will love this buffalo cauliflower. So guys, let's get started. First, let's make the batter. So to a bowl, I'm adding one cup all-purpose flour. And let's add a few seasonings like one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon paprika, quarter to half teaspoon freshly ground black pepper, one teaspoon salt. Combine everything well using a fork and next let's add water. So add water little by little and combine it well using a fork. So in total I have added one cup water. So we have to make a slightly thick but not too watery batter. Here is our batter so it has a perfect consistency it is slightly thick and not too watery so this is how the batter should be and you can just use a fork and mix it well so keep this aside I have taken one medium sized cauliflower so separated the florets so what I usually do is I dip the whole cauliflower in warm water for 10 to 15 minutes so that way if there are any tiny bugs in the cauliflower that will all be released into the water and then drain the water rinse the cauliflower under running water and separate the florets. For air frying, I'll be using Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Air Fryer. If you don't have Instant Pot Air Fryer, you can use any kind of um, air fryer. So I have placed the stainless steel pot into the main pot and also placed the air fryer basket. So this is the air fryer basket into the stainless steel pot and then the broiled tray into the air fryer basket. Next, I'm going to line the broil tray with the parchment paper. So this is a very important step. Please don't skip this. We'll dip the cauliflower florets in the batter so the batter will spread. Uh, so if you keep it directly on the broil tray, the batter will be stuck to the tray and the cleanup will be a huge mess. So please line with parchment paper. So next, I'm going to dip each florets in the batter, shake off any excess batter and place it on the parchment paper. Don't crowd the florets, leave some space. So let's air fry in two batches. Cover the instant pot with the air fryer lid. So place it on the instant pot. So next let's select air fry. So I'm going to keep the temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and set the time to 20 minutes. So we have to click start so let this air fry for 20 minutes after 20 minutes of air frying let's open the lid so here are the air fried cauliflower fritters as you can see everything is kind of stuck together because of the batter so that's okay we'll separate it out later so wear a mitten it's super hot um, so the stainless steel pot um, air fryer basket everything is so hot so wear a mitten and take the parchment paper out of the tray since we have placed it on the parchment paper, it's pretty easy to take that out. If we had placed the battered cauliflower directly on the broil tray, it would have been a mess. Trust me, I have uh, done that before. So please um, place the battered cauliflower on the parchment paper. Let the cauliflower fritters cool down for 5 minutes and then we can separate these out. Next, I'm going to separate the fritters. Thank you. 
Next, let's make the buffalo hot sauce to a saucepan. I'm adding half cup hot sauce. So you can add any kind of hot sauce that you have. And next, adding two tablespoon unsalted butter. Stir it well and let the butter melt. So I've placed the saucepan over medium heat. Uh, so let's cook this for three to four minutes. So the sauce is ready. Take the pan out of the heat. So next let's do the second round of air frying. So I've placed the parchment paper on the broil tray. So let's brush the hot sauce over the cauliflower fritters. So use a pastry brush and brush it all over the cauliflower. So the broiled tray, it's not that sturdy, so it went all the way down. That's okay. I brushed okay. all the cauliflower with the hot sauce. So next, let's uh, close the instant pot with the air fryer lid and select air fry. So this is the second round of air frying. Uh, let's uh, keep the temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, setting the time to 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of air frying, let's open the lid. So cancel air fry. Here are the crispy buffalo cauliflower. So it has turned really crispy and look at that beautiful golden brown color. Where the mitten? So I'm going to take the parchment paper with all the cauliflower out of the air fryer basket. It's super hot and it's a bit tricky to take the parchment paper out. So I'm using a tong and taking some of the cauliflower out of the basket. So this has turned super crispy and smells really aromatic. I can smell the aroma of garlic and the hot sauce. So let's transfer the cauliflower to a plate. There will be some leftover hot sauce after spreading it on the cauliflower. You can serve it along with the buffalo cauliflower. If you like this to be super hot, you can dip it in the hot sauce and enjoy it. Here are the healthy, crispy and delicious buffalo cauliflower that's air fried in the instant pot. So this has turned out awesome. So you can enjoy this as an appetizer or as a snack or you can serve this with rice or noodles. So guys, do give this recipe a try and let me know your feedback. So if you have liked this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more instant pot recipes. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.